Hi everyone, my name is Jessica Whitaker. I'm a photographer from Seattle, Washington, and I'm also the founder of Build and Bloom. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys quickly about my free online photography resource, my Build and Bloom Facebook group. We're quickly approaching the one-year mark. I launched it in October of 2016, and we're almost at 30,000 members. Before I get started, I do want to say, if you just want to go check out the group for yourself, the link will be down in the description box below. You can find us also on Instagram at Build and Bloom. So the reason why I created Build and Bloom was because I was a part of a couple other photography Facebook groups, big and small, and I found that they were a little bit too serious and professional for my taste. While I do think that there is a place to be professional, I don't think a private Facebook artist community necessarily has to be it. So I created Build and Bloom geared more towards a younger audience. While we do have older users, most of the people who are in the group fall between the 18 and 24 age category. Even though Build and Bloom is mostly made up of photographers, we have a ton of other kinds of creatives within the group. From florists to bloggers to calligraphers to graphic designers, we have it all, which builds for a really great community. The meaning behind the name Build and Bloom is that when we build one another up, we blossom together. The community overcomes competition mindset. One of my favorite quotes is there's a spot for everyone at the table and so I really want to create something online where that ring true. People of all skill levels are welcome to join. We have people who received a camera maybe two years ago on Christmas and they just recently started using it to professional photographers who do photography full time to people who just shoot with their iPhone. It's great because you're able to receive so many different perspectives and opinions on questions that you might have regarding the industry. The group isn't just a place to share your work but you can ask those questions because I'm not able to answer every single question that I receive and I'm also maybe not the best person to answer some of the questions that you might have regarding topics that I might not have any insight on. The reason why I chose to make the Facebook group private is for that security blanket that people find comfort in. It encourages people to ask dumb, silly, and more vulnerable questions that you might be nervous to ask publicly on Twitter. You feel comfortable asking in this private Facebook group. It's 100% free to join, so there's really no risk involved um, if you don't find that you like the group, you can always leave it. It's no worries at all, but I've actually had people tell me that they created a Facebook account specifically because of the Facebook group. Overall, I think that Build and Bloom is a really big blessing, not only to me, but other people within the group. It's a place where you can find community, receive constructive criticism, and also collaboration. Being able to create something like Build and Bloom has really been such an amazing blessing and opportunity that I feel like I just want to keep carrying out in the most pure form that I can with the intent of always helping people. I hope that you guys join me over on the Facebook group. There's a spot for you at the table. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more photography and social media videos. You can find Build and Bloom over on Instagram at Build and Bloom, and you can find me on Instagram at Jessica Whitaker. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys there.